everyone and welcome back to my channel to your taste today y'all i'm going to show you how to make my favorite side dish southern okra and tomatoes very few ingredients so easy to make and very delicious i usually make okra and tomatoes when i make chicken and rice um or smothered pork chop and rice anything that has rice in it and a gravy I make okra and tomatoes. So the ingredients you will need is a bag of okra. I have a bag here and this is 16 ounces of okra. I just took it out of my freezer. Then you will need one medium sized onion that has been quartered. And when I say quartered, I mean cut into fours, so like this. Also, you will need some tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, and then the seasonings. Very simple, black pepper, garlic salt excuse me y'all and onion powder that is it we're gonna make this in my cast iron skillet i have a little oil in it so add about a tablespoon of oil to your cast iron skillet we're going to throw our onions in and then our okra so let's head over to the stove and get started okay everyone so let's put in our onions in here and so we're just going to cook them until they're almost tender because they're going to cook once we put our um, okra into this skillet. Alright, so we're going to cook these until it's almost tender. So I guess it's about four to five minutes. Alright everyone, so it's been about five minutes since I put my onions in. Now we're going to add in our bag of okra. And we're just going to stir this around. And we're just gonna let this cook for about four to five minutes, the same as the onions. And then we're gonna add in our sauce. But before we do so, we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to our okra. So we're gonna add in our onion powder. Add it to your taste. Our pepper. I'm using that coarse ground black pepper. I mean, of course, ground black pepper. I think I said brown. I can't remember. <laughs> and then our garlic salt. And we're going to add more seasoning too as well once we put those tomatoes and the tomato sauce in there. So we're just going to stir this around. And like I said, we're going to let this cook for about four to five minutes. And then we're going to add in our tomato sauce and the tomatoes. Okay, everyone. So now we're going to add in our diced tomatoes in here. This is one can, so this is 15, oh, 14.5, 14.5 ounces. And we're just gonna mix it together. And then we're gonna add in our tomato sauce. Let's see a little in here. If you see any pieces like this, which is just the end of the Okra, let's take it out. Like the stem of it. Now we're going to add in our tomato sauce here. We're going to stir that. That's just one can, eight ounces of tomato sauce. And now we're just going to add just a little bit of water to the tomato sauce can to get the rest of that tomato sauce out of there. Like you see here. Just some in there, get a little bit of water. And we're just going to swirl it around like so. And then pour that in there. Okay, so now we're just gonna add a little bit more of our seasonings to it. So let's add more of our onion powder. And our pepper. And the garlic salt. And we're just going to let this cook until it is tender. Meaning the, um, the okra is tender. And you're going to cook this on a simmer. So then you, at this point here, you just want to kind of taste it. 
to make sure your seasonings are good. So, let's see. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're going to let this simmer. I'm going to say for about mm, five to ten minutes or until your liking. All right, everyone. The okra and tomatoes is done. And I was going to tell y'all, I'm going to turn the fire off. When, when you're cooking it and you're stirring it as a simmer, every once in a while, take a piece of the okra and taste it to make sure if it's not too, I guess, crispy or crunchy. Because if it is, it just means that it's not done yet. You want to have a, a mild, like a, a medium crunch to it, but you don't want it to be fully crunchy, right? But you don't want to cook it too long because then it would get kind of slimy. All right, so this is it. Y'all, I'm just going to put this in my serving bowl and then that'll be it. Okay, everyone. So I have my okra and tomatoes in my serving dish. Look at this, y'all. You see how good that looks? <clears throat> Okay, sorry y'all. I had to cough for some reason. All right, so we got our okra and tomatoes all nice and delicious with all those onions. Look at this. Before I could just show y'all, look at that. Nice and steaming hot. Like I said, this could be good with anything to have, for me, in my opinion, for any with anything that has a gravy with it. It's delicious. It's easy to make. Take no time to make with few ingredients. So... This is it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know. Have you tried okra and tomatoes before? This is something that my grandma used to make. And my mom made it. So now I make it. And this is my all-time favorite side dish. Alright, so. Make sure you hit that like button. Y'all be careful out there. God bless. And be safe. Bye.